Mm. Who in here is a veterinarian? Raise your hand. Wow, I'm the only one? Guess. All right, so I just want to tell you the story about what makes the lion the king of the jungle. What makes the lion the most sought after specimen in the jungle? Now, if I was to ask you a question of who can dominate if they go head to head out of a lion or a tiger, you would probably say the tiger will dismantle the lion. But one thing that I learned is the reason why the lion is the king of the jungle is because the right side of the lion's body is so strong, but their strength is asymmetrical. The right side of the lion's body is so strong that nothing can really stop it. But the lion has a weakness. The weakness is all you have to do is cut a lion on the side and the lion is going to have things that start bleeding out. But the veterinarian can't do the surgery on the lion's side because the right side of the lion's side is so strong that they'll pull away and pull their body out of place. So in order to do a surgery on the lion, they had to actually go around the left side of the lion's body in front of the arteries on the inside of the body to start connecting things so that they don't pull themselves out of place, right? The fact that none of you guys were experts or veterinarians, you would probably realize that everything I say was not true. I don't know anything about lions. <laughs> That's the reality, right? But because I'm on the stage, you guys automatically assume that I'm the expert, so whatever I said, you were automatically thinking about what friend you were going to tell that story to. <laughs> and when I'm coaching clients over and over and over, I realize that a lot of people have analysis of paralysis. And the reason I told that story to my first coaching client that got me to where I am today is because women, we already know how hard it is to get your hair done, right? Let alone getting your hair and your makeup done at the same time. The problem with most female entrepreneurs is something that I learned. They want to have everything perfect before they do their first Facebook Live or their first Instagram Live and it never gets done, right? I guarantee if I was to ask every female entrepreneur in here why they haven't went live, why they haven't pushed their brand, it's because getting that hair appointment, that lash appointment, and that makeup appointment probably would never sync up so that they can get it done. And that that's what led me to coin the phrase, done is better than perfect, because perfect never gets done. Her problem was, I'm scared to speak in front of people. My problem was, I had the story about the lion. And if you're the expert and you have been studying something for at least six months and what you're doing, I realize that you speak on stage as the expert. It doesn't matter what you're saying as long as you speak with conviction and you can get it done. You can always optimize, always get it perfect. And that's what led me to doing what I am today. Now, if I was to ask anybody that followed me, it looked like everything is together but they didn't know I came up in a crack house. They didn't know that I had to jump, well, I'm not gonna say crack house, but I came up with both parents actually battling an addiction that they had to overcome. And imagine me walking in, having to jump over the banister so that I uh, jump over the hole in the floor beside the toilet, and I had to lean to the right side of the toilet because if I leaned on the left side of the toilet, the cat and the mouse up under the trailer was probably gonna bite my leg off. I hope that didn't happen, but that led me to realize that Man, you've overcome a lot of things. What a lot of people don't realize is I was born with a jaw deformity. I didn't say my first word until I was two, and I couldn't complete a sentence until I was five. My teacher told me that I was going to be in special ed always, and nobody would want to hear me talk because I talked with a lisp, and every kid in my <laughs> grade or class, the worst animal or the worst uh, cartoon, and I hate this cartoon to the day, was Daffy Duck. Because because I had a list, everywhere I go, they said suffering sucker tash, right? To start picking on exactly what, you know, what came about. But then I realized that, like the speaker before said, God, why me? Why am I getting picked on every day? What are they doing to me? Why are they doing this to me? Why are they doing this to me? And then it dawned on me. We're so scared to go through problems. We're so scared to go through suffering. But if we don't go through that suffering, how are we going to help the next person? We can turn suffering into a solution that we can capitalize on. Because sometimes God may pick you, and the reason why he's picking you is because you're strong enough to handle it because he already is developing you to help that person who is going to go through that problem. But let me ask you a question. What if it wasn't you? Now, I need you guys to make sure that you promise me one thing. 
and I need everybody who's going to be a speaker, everybody who's going to be a coach, everybody who's going to be an entrepreneur, I need them to promise me one thing. They have to body their business and body everything they're doing. And body, I mean B-O-D-D. I teach all of my coaching clients, build, organize, document, delegate. That has led me to building out the product, organizing the product, documenting the product, and then delegating it off. And also led me to getting over the financial hardships that we faced in business. 75% of the businesses fail because they don't know how to body it, and the reason they can't body it is because they want everything to be perfect before they launch it. That has led me to building it out, organizing it, and becoming one of the most sought after automation experts in the country, and then documenting everything so that I can delegate it off. But guess what happened? I remember sitting in my office one night, and we first started growing our business. And everybody was like, wow, Derek, you're doing 1.6, $1.7 million in your credit repair business. But guess what happened? I had 27 employees at the time, but I was also charging off every single credit card. I was two months behind on my mortgage as the credit expert. If you Google credit repair and you Google experts, my name is the most sought after name in the United States right now. And that's because I know how to automate. I know how to make sure that my name gets out there and I dominate Facebook. Now I'm not, I suck on Instagram, but I dominate Facebook. And the reason why is because even with my lisp, even though people were gonna laugh at my hairline, even though my head is bigger than everybody in this room, right? I still got up there and I got up there to just do it and I realized what didn't work. I optimized it, understood my market, and then I got it out. And that helped me because my wife coming in the office asking me or telling me that you made me a promise that this would never happen again. And as a man, we understand that being the head of the household, the last thing we want is our wife to give up on us because we're going to become the biggest alcoholic in the world at that point, right? Maybe not y'all, but I know I would, right? So, <laughs> But the thing was is I immediately started automating things. I immediately start building it, whatever the product is, right? I immediately start organizing it, put it in a folder, and then I realized, wow, if I start a customer service department, all I got to do is record all of my phone calls, download Dropbox, put everything in there, and then I can organize those folders, and then I can document those folders by automating the process and hire a person in the Philippines for $3 an hour to go ahead and delegate to. I was immediately able to get rid of 24 of the 27 employees in the U.S. and went from $1.7 to $3.6 million with three Americans. And that allowed me to start teaching other people how to do the same thing. And when we started, the same guy just two and a half years ago who was about to lose everything now has a call center in the Philippines with about 140 people in it. So I want to leave you guys with this. Done is better than perfect because perfect never gets done, but you got to get something done first. Thank you.